We are getting a Black Panther and Captain America game from Marvel. So, as you've probably heard or seen, recently Marvel Entertainment has dropped the official story trailer for their upcoming video game called Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra. Now, for those of you confused, about a year ago or so, we've gotten some info that Marvel was working on a few new games, and one of those was 1943 Rise of Hydra. So this game takes place during World War II where we're going to focus on our main heroes, Captain America and Black Panther, where they need to work together to face their common enemy. So yeah, it's a duo game between Black Panther and Captain America, so already that just sounds like an amazing game. And as of right now, there has been little to no game footage, but we have seen the cinematic scenes of this, and my god, they are amazing. There are parts where you can tell it's a video game, but in a lot of them, they look like they're from some kind of live action movie, and I'm not the only one who thinks this. So I'm not sure how much of this is in-game footage for cutscenes and stuff, but there are some scenes that definitely look like they're not going to be in the game and they're just made for the trailer, but regardless, they look gorgeous. The graphics and just the cinematic scenes are definitely something to marvel at. And looking at it, again, it literally says on the title, it is a story trailer, so maybe we'll get some gameplay footage later this year, hopefully. Speaking of the story, it is being directed by Bruce Straley, who wrote Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, which I cannot say much about because I haven't played the game, but seeing the reviews on the game, they are very positive. He also wrote The Last of Us. The concept of the story is already super interesting as it's set in World War II with supernatural humans. Wakanda has been around for many, many years and Captain America was born in 1920, so the fact that this game is taking place during World War II makes sense. And there are so many things to explore here. It'll also be a nice change of pace as we actually get to see superheroes tackle real life issues that the entire world faces. The comics have done this too of course, but not in terms of movies or games. Also, quick little side note, I really, really love the voice acting in this game so far. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I. But other than that, what else is there to say except this looks like an amazing and interesting game. It looks outstanding and it seems like the story is going to be good as well. I mean, everything we've seen so far is great, but at the same time, not a lot has been shown yet. Quite a few people say that while the trailer is great, the gameplay and game graphics are what's really going to determine this game and they're 100% right. We had some games in the past where their trailers have been misleading. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the big examples and there were other ones as well. I think a lot of us fans do not want this game to be similar case to Marvel's Avengers game, especially when it's a game focused on Captain America and Black Panther. With such a great concept and idea for a game and visuals like this, it would be a shame for it to be dragged down by its gameplay. Especially when we've gotten Spider-Man 2, Marvel really has to start making amazing games from here on out. And speaking of that, I want to talk about the gameplay. While we haven't seen any yet, I want to make a couple theories or hunches or whatever you like to call them. Now, I do think that this game will have the same way of switching characters, like how in Spider-Man 2 you can switch between Peter and Miles. In this game, you'll have the same option to switch between Black Panther and Captain America. This game also feels like it's going to have the same camera movement or like camera angles similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. But again, that's just a wild guess and I'm solely basing it off of the vibes I get from this trailer. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. But yeah, other than those predictions, I don't have much to say, but what I can say is that I really, really hope Marvel learns from their Avengers game that they made and actually make the right choices here. Again, we've just gotten an amazing Spider-Man game and a bunch of other great games in the past, so there's no reason for Marvel not to keep up and produce amazing games. I feel like they can and should prevail with this one. The more I think about it, the more excited I am because there is so much potential for this to be one of the best Marvel games and overall games in general. Now, this game is revealed to be releasing in 2025, which is surprisingly close. Now, I think that the dates may change because it is pretty soon, but then again, the development for this game may have started years ago, so I don't know for sure. I just feel like it may get delayed. Who knows? Everything at this point is just a guessing game because so far, again, we haven't seen much of anything yet. 
But yeah, those are my thoughts so far ever since this game trailer came out. Again, this game looks super cool and I'm genuinely excited for this game. Now, I want to hear your thoughts on it. What did you like? What did you not like? Did you think you were watching a movie trailer at first? Anything at all, comment down below if you would like to. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it and I hope you all have an amazing day and night. Bye. Bye.